Hello Gamer. Today we're going to play Terraria. I'm going to start a brand new character and just show you how to play. Uh, just what you should do first and how to build a house and, and all that. Because there's people who maybe have never played it before or maybe they tried to play it and just couldn't figure it out or got impatient or whatever. So that's what's going on here. So um, I have it at just at 1080p so I can see the chat window if anyone feels like chatting. So this is my like end game character, but I'm gonna make a new person. I'm just gonna play classic because you don't want to drop items when you die. It's already annoying to drop your money and hardcore. Yeah, no, you, you don't want to lose everything when you die. So I typically do classic journey. I guess it's for kids or for people who aren't good at it yet or whatever. But I'm just gonna do classic here. And random, random, random. I'm gonna close my eyes and just keep pressing the button. And that's who we're gonna be. Okay. Character name. Um, um, I don't know. Uh, her name's gonna be Wendy. Sure, why not? Who gives a crap? All right, doesn't matter. Okay, so we got Wendy, and we're gonna make a new world. Uh, I'm just gonna do a small world. I'm gonna do Crimson because that's a little easier than Corruption. And I'm gonna do Classic because Expert is really for people who are really good at the game or people who've already like gotten some decent gear. Like, with my high-level character, I could jump into Master and kill the early game bosses, no problem, but we're gonna do that. Just gonna keep pressing this. Okay, gonna keep pressing this. Nice bed seed. Uh, so there's the seed and stuff. If, I don't know if you want to go for that. Create. And let's see if this SSD uh, does anything for this game. And I got a clip bar. Because I'm hungry. Alright, well. And as always, just give me a minute to bring up the Twitch app right here. Yeah, you know what, I think I can, let me bring my uh, camera down here. All right, cool. Ah, oh, I'm getting murdered, hang on. So I'm using a controller because I, that's just what I feel like doing. So when you're first starting out, here we are. Um... All right, I put the jump button to A on my Xbox controller here, okay. And that would normally be on the trigger. You can totally remap all the buttons too, which is nice. And then things are looking a little small here, so let me um, use the triggers to move between menus here. So if I go to settings here, I just want to. I turned off frame skip, alright, I think that's good, right? Why not? Um. I would like to zoom in a little bit, make it a little easier to see. I'll do 125. There we go. So I'm also playing in windowed mode. Oh, you can do that too. Oh, that's neat. All right, I'll do 130 and 160. That sounds good. Okay, cool. All right, so there's the guide. He has a different name each time you can talk to him. What's cool about him is, if you hand him a material, he'll tell you all of the recipes. 
that you can make with it. So gel can be used to make, if I have wood, I can make torches. Oh, I can make Molotov cocktails. So another reason I'm starting over right now is because it's been updated quite a bit since the last time I played it. There's been a few updates that add some new bosses and items and whatnot. So I thought it might be interesting to do that. So you start with an ax. What we want to do here is first we just want to cut down some trees. Pretty simple. The green slimes, um, they're really annoying, but they're not that hard to kill, and they do drop um, gel. I also got some lead ore just now. How did that happen? Okay, I'll take it. All right. So use the axe to cut down trees. Use the pickaxe to hit blocks, and then the sword to attack enemies. Although you can also attack people with other things. Um, your, your tools can also be used as weapons, but of course they do less damage. And the guide has a bow and arrow, which is good. Cause in the original game, when this first came out, I don't think he did that. I don't think he defended himself at all. He was just constantly dying. Yeah. Alright, so what I want to do is I want to cut down these trees and I want to just flatten the land out so I can make some houses. Now just for the sake of uh, saving some time here, I will probably just, um, just do the bare minimum for housing. And then I can explain the conditions to get new NPCs to come in as long as I can remember what those conditions are. We should be good. I'm using the smart cursor, which just automatically targets nearby things. You can catch worms with a net, and then you can go fishing. So, I think this game has won the Labor of Love Award on Steam several times, because they have added quite a bit to the game since it came out. Now, the other thing that where I get confused is that I have, I have the game on three different platforms, and I've beaten it at, di at different points in time, but it's like, I just recently tried to play this on Xbox and on PS4, and it's like, oh, like, I don't remember what the hell I was doing, I don't remember which bosses I fought already, and there's new bosses, and I don't know, you definitely miss out on some of the experience if you just start a new world with a high-level character, so, okay. Oh, a recall potion. Hey, that's helpful. I wish there was a total recall potion. Total recall. Bad Arnold voice. Okay. And as you get better tools, you, of course, uh... No. No spam. No. No. How do I block this person? Okay, I don't know, I'm getting spam, sorry about that. No spam, no robots, bad. Bad. Hang on. Save me, guide. Save me while I look at my phone. Oh, I accidentally ate a...
Alright, well, whatever. It's fine. Alright, can't do anything about it right now. Anyways. So, what can we do with all of this? I have 500 wood. Got wood? Yes, yes I do. Oh, Spelunker Potion, that's helpful. That will show us where some ore and treasures are. Recall Potion can get us back here. And I already got some lead ore off of one of them. Slimes. Acorns, you plant them and more trees will grow. So if you ever run out of trees for whatever reason, just plant more. And they added fruit in some recent update, and that'll give you stat improvements, so that's nice. And seeds you plant to grow different types of flowers. Flowers are often used in potion recipes. Only thing I wish the game had was a way to exclude things that you don't want to pick up, but th there is a lot of inventory management in this game, but it's, it's not that bad, at least not in the early game. So... We go over to our crafting menu. To do before we can do anything, we need ten wood and a workbench. Done. So now we put down the workbench. And now bam, we got all these extra resources. So just gonna build a simple wooden house here. I'm gonna make a door, table, chair, table, chair. Um and I can make my first set of armor here. So this is the wooden set. The original game did not have a wood set. Um, of course, I also find it odd that the wooden weapons are more powerful than the starting copper weapons. But... All right, now we need the hammer. That will let us knock out things in the background, like walls and stuff. And then I'm going to get a bow. Okay. So... Now, of course, I don't want a shitty house. I want a nice house. So, uh, die, squirrel, die. Okay. Squirrels are evil, in case you didn't know. Alright, I'm just going to collect some of this stone here. Maybe I should make a fishing pole and a net and try to catch these uh, worms. And believe it or not, they've actually improved the graphics over time as well. So, alright. enough for now. Oh, hello, bunny. Alright, bunny can live. Unless slime kills him. Alright. So, gonna go ahead and... Um... Where's the rest of my... Didn't I make all three pieces? Kind of... Guess not. So, I equip the set, and does this set have a bonus? Yes, these, so three items of the same type will give you a set bonus, in this case one extra defense. Doesn't hurt. Uh, now, another change they made, which I like, is that um, you don't have to dig up all of these um, dirt blocks here. You can actually have one material just replace another, which is neat. So, you couldn't do that originally. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and just... I think it's just going to be quicker to just do this. Okay. So, I just decided I want a stone foundation. It doesn't matter. It really doesn't. And you'll get a lot more materials later on anyways, so... You get all different types of things to build houses with. Okay, so that was step one there. Um, 
I'm just gonna knock this out. And you can see time is passing, and we want to do as much as we can before night falls. So, so I, so, you know, we all understand how architecture works, right? You need walls, a ceiling, you need a door. So, for a dwelling to be considered hospitable, it needs walls, ceiling, a door, a light source. Okay. A table and a chair. Some of the requirements do get more specific depending on which NPC you're, you're attempting to recruit. I gotta put this back down. Alright. Now, I'm going to just make more doors and more tables. Okay. Of course, things don't have to be exact. Um, I, off the top of my head, I don't know the exact dimensions, but this looks about right. You know, you've got to have room overhead and room from side to side. So these could have been a little bit smaller, but it's not a big deal. Like speedrunners are obviously going to make things much smaller to save time, but this is not a speedrun. Because if it was, I wouldn't even be able to get past the first boss without playing for at least like five, three or four hours. I'm not special. Alright. But this way, as the early NPCs come trickling in, they'll have plenty of room to move around and have a place to live. Okay, so now we're gonna go back over here. Um, sure, let's make a fishing pole. Why the hell not? I got plenty of wood. Now I need a couple of light sources. Well, I need a bunch of light sources, so I'll just use all that gel to make a bunch of sources. So this is just what I like to do. I like to do, um, I just think it looks neat. You can just do this. Just one on each side. Why not? All right. That looks nice, doesn't it? Now we're going to go ahead over here. So, once you... I use the wood to make the wooden walls. And you can see I can have them just automatically... Or have her just automatically fill things in here. And I want to replace all that ugly looking dirt in the background. Now you can also make walls out of pretty much any other material, but it's the early game. We haven't really done any mining yet. But this is, we just need a safe space to hang out. So on your first day, you want to make sure you have a house built, and you'll see why in a minute. All right. Okay. Where's my hammer? It's 
every time. Um, oh, see? You have demon eyes and zombies come out at night. Now, the demon eyes, you actually have to kill a bunch of these. You need to get lenses. Their eyes, so they have lenses. Ha, ha, clever. Another welcome change is that you see how I was able to jump up there just now. If you're really close to making a jump, they'll let you just kind of shimmy up the side. Of course, we need money. And then fallen stars come down at night. Those um, are going to come in handy later. So look, so now the guide has a nice house to live in. Um... So there's a way to check to see if a dwelling is suitable, but I, I already know that these are, so it's fine. Oh look, a zombie. Great. A torch-bearing zombie. Now for some reason on the uh, PS4 version, maybe I could fix it, but it was like pitch black at night in spots where there was no light. So with this, it's like I can still see it pretty well. At least that's what it looks like on my screen. All right. And there's different biomes. You always start in just a regular biome, but and when I go over here, this is desert. There's also jungle. There's um, tundra. And then as we go deeper underground, there's some, you know, changes down there too. So now I have a bow but I don't have any arrows because I used all my stones already. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to mine some stones over here. I, I remember there being some. I'm still gonna put some torches down just so I can see better. Alright so it's a whole lot of stone right here. Let's just see how much of this we can collect without getting murdered by zombies. Yeah, so the beginning of the game is quite slow because your copper pickaxe kind of sucks. And the only way to get better is to mine ore and whatnot. So. But I guess that fruit comes in handy now. I don't know when they added that. Having weapons with some knockback, of course, is helpful. Okay, Bunny, I'm just gonna keep swinging my pickaxe, and if you get in the way and get hurt, it's your own fault. There are pets in this game, and all they do is follow you around. They don't serve any other purpose. Some of them are quite rare. You got in my way, Bunny. Now, I love animals, but in video games, they just kind of get in the way, so... I have empathy for real animals and real people, but in video games, I could care less. Or couldn't care less, whatever. Uh, gotta be grammatically correct so people don't, you know, correct you. Gonna go up here. Alright, and then anything you don't want, you can just hit. I can press select and trash it. So when you put it down here, it can disappear forever. So just be mindful of that. Alright. Oh, I guess I didn't need that much stone, huh? <laughs> That's a lot of arrows. Okay. Oh, and I can make flaming arrows, too. Let's do that. 
Excellent. That's a lot of arrows. That's overkill for arrows, but what are you gonna do? And let's get more torches. Alright. Oh, I guess I didn't make a bow yet? Okay. No problem. Alright, yeah, so like I said, a lot of inventory management here, but what are you gonna do? See, so much damage that does, that's great. As you may have already guessed, uh, ranged builds tend to be a lot easier. Or at least when it comes to fighting bosses, anyways. I'd say melee is more helpful when you're, like, underground in tight spaces. Alright. I don't feel like going through the desert. Let's see what's over on this side. Can't make that jump. Alright. So don't worry, if you get stuck somewhere, it's not a big deal. You can also use wood to make platforms, which you do not need a workbench to make. You don't need a workbench for, like, torches either, I don't think. are helpful. You can eat them to get health back. Alright, I got a lens, but I need like six of them. If you collect lenses, then you gotta go find a demon altar and you can make an eye that will summon the first boss. Oh great, this- oh, this sucks. I didn't know I was this close to the crimson right off the bat. Well, that sucks. Not ready to go there yet. So you get either crimson or hollow, or corruption, or I don't know what- So there used to be just corruption, then they added crimson. Crimson's a little bit easier because with the other one you have like these giant pits that you can't really safely descend down or, or easily get out of. Whereas Crimson there's like entrances to get underground right at the top and it's a gradual like, decline and all that. So you don't have to worry about plummeting to your death in those. It just, just makes the game a little easier to play that way I would say. And then the boss that you summon in Crimson I think is a little bit easier. Now, I do have to go back there to pick up the gold that I dropped. Dang it. Oh, well. I have like 600 of these arrows, so I might as well use them, right? Alright, so here's the stuff that I draw. Oh, this is a weapon. Alright. Yeah, so you can see there's prefixes that will make it either better or worse. So, this is slow, but it does a lot more damage, so this should be helpful, I hope. Let's 
So the easy way to get yourself out of a uh, pit is to either make platforms, or you can just, any, like, dirt you pick up, you could also use that to just elevate yourself. Alright. So I don't want to go that way because the crimson area, I'm just going to get totally wrecked if I go over there right now. Ah! Son of a bitch. Alright. Phew. I know I'm gonna need more stone soon, so let's just grab it. So you can see, the game gets off to a slow start, but here, we just, uh, just survived the first night. Now, sometimes if you're really unlucky, you can get a blood moon pretty early in the game, and under a blood moon there's just a bajillion zombies spawning in, and they're stronger, and it's pretty wild. Alright, so what is this down here? Is this stone, or is this some type of mineral? Just stone, okay. Alright. They definitely made the early game a bit easier over time. Well, I didn't want to go to the desert, but I sure as hell don't want to go through the crimson area again. So, desert it is. Okay. So, to make the game easier for yourself, instead of just digging down, you may want to just try and find, like, pre-existing caves, because... You'll find pots and chests and stuff, if you're lucky. Oh, look. We got ourselves some copper ore right here. How cool is that? How cool is this? All right. The merchant arrives. So, the merchant will arrive when you get a certain amount of money. I don't know if it's like 50 silver or something like that, but that's good. He sells some stuff that might be useful. Now, the thing with sand is that it's a pain in the ass to mine it because when you, every time you hit a block of sand, more sand will fall and then you can get yourself killed. By falling sandblocks. It's pretty awful. Oh, I can um, totally cut down these cacti. The pr plural of cactus is cacti, just so you know. There's different color slimes and they have different amounts of health, different amounts of damage. Similar to like, you know, Zelda 2, which I'm sure is where they came from. Alright, I'm in a biome that I don't recognize. How, how about that? It's a little different from, uh, huh. That's cool. So this could be something new. Hey, look, a chest. So, what do we get from the chest? Wand of Sparking. This is a magic item that will shoot a spark at enemies. Hey, that's helpful. Let's take that. Copper bars are always helpful. Rope is going to be helpful. Shurikens, those are good range weapons here. Uh, I don't need this many recall potions, but sure. Iron skin potion, excellent. Silver coins. And some grenades. Hey, that's helpful. All right, cool. Oh, and then what I'm going to go ahead and do is, once a chest is fully looted, then you can pick it up like I just did using the mining pick. All right. Take that grasshopper off.
This has to be a new song because I've never heard it before. What? A balloon blue slime? I've never seen that before. Hey, this is fun. Seeing all kinds of things I've never seen before in this game. Nice. Ah. The demolitionist arrived. It, okay, if you find an explosive, then the demolitionist shows up. Ooh, this is exciting. Terraria is 2D Minecraft, plain and simple. But it kind of reminds me of Zelda 2 as well, and I love that game. So. Let's, uh... Oh, what is this? Is that tin? It is lead. Okay. So each world will have, I think, either copper or tin, and then either iron or lead. Can I open this chest, or do I need a key? No, I can open it. All right, this will help me breathe underwater. Oh, cool. A pet. Cons I can play sandcastles with sand blocks. Okay. I guess that's cool. Tungsten is helpful. Alright, cool. And I'm going to go ahead and collect this. Easy way to get across the water. Just build some platforms. And platforms you can drop through the bottom, so that's helpful in certain situations. I have a fishing rod, but I don't have a net, so I can't catch bugs yet. You gotta have bait. Uh, in the early game, it's a good idea to just go as far as you can to the left or right just to see which biomes are there. And then you're going to want to try to locate the dungeon, because that's where one of the bosses is. died once so far. How cool is that? So this game is uh, relaxing most of the time. You can totally get into like a good rhythm and it's very zen. Oh, look at all this copper. This is helpful. Wow. I, I already have copper tools, but I can make some copper armor with all of this. That's really what you want to look for. You, you want to look for pre-existing caves that might have pots and treasure chests in them. And then you want to see if there's any ore close to the surface. You don't have to go down too far. There are in-game achievements, many of which are linked to... Steam achievements, trophies, Xbox achievements, and all that. And they've added some new ones over time. Now, on the PS4 version, I could not get the Platinum. I mean, I probably could now, but it would just be time-consuming. Like, now there's a much higher spawn rate on pets. Shark bait, ooh ha ha! Ha! It's a shark in a bubble. Ah, that's pretty cool. Shark bait, ooh ha, ha I can hit people with this? Cool. Huh? 
Oh yeah, so you hold it above you and you can, that way you can still breathe if you're close enough to the surface. See. But yeah, I gotta stay at this distance. Okay. Well, that could be helpful. A uh, duck. Oh, okay. You hear that music change, right? We are now in the jungle biome. Which we are not ready for. Okay, the umbrella can make me fall slower. I'm just going to hit loot all. So these bottles will come in handy to make potions with. Um, that could be helpful. Alright. Definitely not ready for the jungle yet. But I want to say typically the jungle and the dungeon are on opposite sides of the starting point. Alright, so what else did we get? Got a spear, which isn't very useful. This zombie arm is quite powerful, so I just want to hang on to that. Um, glow sticks you can throw into the water. They're, they're basically like water torches, sort of. All right, cool. A blowpipe. Oh, you collect seeds and then shoot them at people. Okay, that's helpful, sort of, or it can be. So I don't want to go underground in the jungle biome yet because there's some really tough enemies down there. Yeah, like you got these fuckers, see? Alright. Piranhas! Oh no. Those are helpful. Alright. Wanted to make sure I didn't die in there. Night Owl Potion Increase the Night Vision. That could be helpful. Alright. I can slide down walls, and plus it gives me extra damage. So you can equip, as you can see on the side here, you can equip a bunch of accessories. Three chests I can put down. Okay. So I need a furnace so I can smell ore. Can I make a furnace? Oh, I can make cactus gear. Oh, that's neat. Oh, I forgot I could do that. Neato. Okay, so I need a furnace. Done. All right, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna put all the crafting stations up, up top. the furnace to create the bars. Now I need the anvil if I want to actually turn the bars into gear. You can also buy an anvil from the merchant, but it's kind of expensive. So, so there, got that right there. Oops. Um, so, got quite a bit of stuff in my inventory already. I'm going to designate this for extra weapons and items that I just that I'm just not using right now. I 
I got fishing pole. All right. Shark bait. Ooh ha ha. Yeah, so this is going to be for, like, weapons that I'm not currently using. And then this chest will just be for bars and ore and other crafting materials like that. Um, uh, you know, let me see. What can I make with copper right now? Can I make a full set of copper armor? Maybe. Okay. Okay, but not enough to make the pants. Oh, well. Yeah, so this will be for four bars. And you want to, if, if you want to get achievements, you want, then you want to collect all of the armor sets. So it's a good idea to keep track of those. So here I'm just going to put in some potions that I'm not intending to use just yet. And other uh, potion ingredients. That's what this is going to be for. Um, that's helpful. Yeah, let's do that. Alright. So for now I'm just saving um, seeds, flowers, and other important crafting materials. But the cactus can be used to make weapons and armor and stuff, so I think I'll just put that in here. Yeah, and then you need gel to make stuff, you need wood to make stuff. So... I'm gonna keep the platforms with me. Uh, grenades could be useful, rope can be useful. Don't need acorns. I need torches, I might need glow sticks. Uh, I'll throw the lens in there for now. And I'm just going to throw away all these dirt blocks. And that's a clay block. Throw that away. Okay, great. And just revisit this real quick to dump that. Alright, good. And I'm going to save the grenades for now. Okay, cool. So here's our demolitionist. And over here is the merchant. So real quick, we're going to check out his inventory. We get a piggy bank to keep some of our valuables in. As I said, too, he sells an iron anvil. Okay, I, I want to buy the bug net. Even though I probably could have made it somehow. Oh, well. I'll buy the piggy bank to store my money. I also got a whole bunch of glass bottles, so there's another thing that you can do. I just want to take one. Oops. I don't need ten of these. So if I were to just place this bottle on one of these tables, that becomes a crafting station. But I realize it would probably be easier to just make another table up here. Or rather, it would be if I had wood still. I can't get wood. Ha ha. Alright. So by putting a bottle on a table, that creates a new crafting station for potions, which is helpful. And then I'll just stick my piggy bank right here. If it lets me, it does not. Okay. Piggy bank has to go on top of something. Here we go. Perfect. So I don't need 1,800 wooden arrows right now. The way the piggy bank works is that if you have one in each world that you make, 
Any items you put in here are accessible from any world that has a piggy bank in it. But I use it to keep valuables like gems and money. Alright. So, I'm gonna sell those for 21 silver. That's helpful. I'm not selling shark bait. I am going to buy as many bombs as I can, and you'll see why in a second. Okay. Now, don't get hit by the explosion, but as you can see, bombs are very helpful for and dynamite is better, but it's also a lot more expensive, so. Sand blocks have some recipes, including glass bottles. And then if you're standing in water with a glass bottle, then you can fill it with water, which is helpful. All right. So see, if I hit the lowest sand block first, the other, the ones on top of it all sink down. And if you get hit by that, it hurts. See? See? Sand does a lot of damage. It's ridiculous. Just gonna put rope everywhere. Can easily climb in and out. Any fans of uh, Boondock Saints? You and your stupid fucking rope. Oh, stupid rope, eh? Norman Reedus, William Defoe. Yeah, great movie. Oh, hello, squirrel. Copper ore, that's helpful. Maybe I can make the pants and get the full set. Okay, good. So I saved a little bit of time by using those bombs. Unfortunately, I also spent all my money and That's helpful. If I hold the umbrella, then I fall more slowly, which is helpful. Oh, there's a boulder down here. 
<laughs> okay, so if you stand on top of a boulder, you die. Wonderful. Oh, look. Falling star. Alright, well, let's see, uh, let's find more stuff I can sell here. What else can we sell? I can sell that. I can sell that. I can sell that. I can sell that. And I'll sell those. Why not? Okay. Wonder sparking. Um, I don't know. There's better magic items. Let me see what it's worth. Copper Greaves, excellent. And the copper weapons, I already have some copper tools and they're pretty much worthless, so not even gonna bother with those. All right. No, I pressed the wrong button. All right. Okay. I guess I'll just keep various crafting materials in here. All right. So there, you, there you have it. And if I can get some extra health, then the nurse should show up, which would be very helpful. All right. Hello again. Excellent. Sell. 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 That's worth a gold. Sold. I'm going to do it again. I'm going to buy a bunch of bombs just to make the mining operations a bit easier. Now, zombies do not spawn underground, which is good. Cobwebs, uh, you can make rope with, or you can make silk rope. All right, life crystals. Permanently increase your health. Excellent. That's what you want. You definitely want to try to find those. See how these can be useful, and they glow underwater too, which is helpful. Tungsten, excellent. So I just hit the one hour mark here, so you can accomplish quite a bit in the first hour if you know what you're doing. And hopefully now you do.
You can't make a Led Zeppelin in this game. Ha huh? ha. Huh. Poison dart trap. Motherfucker. Got it. That is the pressure plate for that. And here is the dart trap. So you can set up traps in this game. And they can be useful. safe from the slime in this game. Alright. No, don't... Don't mind the rope! Slime. Oh, I don't like black slime. Black slime is problematic. You can see the Spelunker potion is now showing me where things are. Dead yet. Yeah, that's the thing. You you do kind of have to be careful when using potions because if you die, it's gone. And at this stage of the game, I don't have the materials I need to make more of them. Thank you. 
Gotta be an easier way. Get over there. I want to get above it so I can just use bombs. Although if I knew this was all stone over here, it might have been quicker to just get it from underneath. Oh well. The nurse has arrived. The nurse arrives once you are able to increase your maximum health. Or, or once you actually do it for the first time. Sapphires. That's helpful. Only got 45 seconds left on that potion, so let's go a little deeper. Oh, here we go. And there's another one. Nice. some ore over here, so let's go check that out. Skeleton. Mother slime splits into little slimes. Baby slimes, whatever. Perfect. And I remember that there's something over here, so let's see if we can get to that. A good practice to kill skeletons because they can sometimes drop items that might be useful to you. What is this noise I'm hearing? Gold! I love gold!
Alright, so I'm gonna collect this gold. Oh wait, I see something else down there. What is that? Alright, I'm gonna collect this gold and whatever's down there and then go back to base. It takes a long time, then sometimes my arm starts cramping up just from holding the cursor in place. Well, this might be rubies. Oh. What even is that? Is that... Oh, that's like cremate ore. Okay. I can't pick it up, though, because my pickaxe isn't strong enough. Oh. Look at this. I'm blind. I'm blind! Ah. I got a hook. That's why you want to kill skeletons. Because if you get a hook, that will help you make a grappling hook. Now I remember. What is this? Green mushroom. Okay, so there's different things that let you make dye. I think that's what that is. I think that's for dye. reddish to me. Alright. And she heals you, which is extremely helpful. Alright. Butterfly statue. Alright. Used to make green dye. Yeah, so now that I found that, if I were to build another room, I would get the other dude. Sometimes drop by skeletons and piranha. Okay, so that's what I thought. So if I equip this, now it's telling me depth, see? And it has other bonuses too, I guess. Alright. Ready? What can we make now? Okay. Let's make a gonna make a golden broadsword and a golden bow cool that's helpful demonic gold broadsword excellent and just a regular gold bow all right used for yeah kiln is used for crafting all right Reinforced fishing pole. Sure. Why not? 
Where'd that go? That's over here. Alright, so this this can now be sold. So these two things are sellable. Um Grappling hook. Excellent. Um and I gotta pick up some wood. That's why it's not letting me make new pickaxes, because you need wood. Tungsten pickaxe. Sure, why not? Lead axe, lead hammer, lead hammer. Okay, good. Lead? I'm going to get lead poisoner. Oh, that's horrible. Um, where's my, I told it to equip the grappling hook. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was pressing the wrong button. Excellent. So I have a grappling hook. That's very helpful. Oh, heavy work patch. I'm going to need that. I think. All right. Oh, I can make a sawmill too. Cool. So I'm just going to put all my crafting stations next to each other up here. It's just easier that way. Alright, so it looks like I made everything that I could. I now have some better tools. You need the sawmill to make, like, furniture. You can make a bunch of letters. Stone, if that's your thing. Picnic table, bar, banquet table, loom. That can be helpful. A keg, cool. Can't go wrong with a keg, huh? Dresser. Can't make a bed yet. I need silk to make a bed. And I need. Yeah, but now that I have the loom, I can use cobwebs to make silk. Where's the loom? Oh, it's up here. So here we have it. Making all my crafting stations here. So. Okay. Tungsten pickaxe, lead axe, lead hammer. Umbrella, reinforced fishing pole, bug net. All right. All right, buy my ship. Thank you.
All right. Um, sure, let's just get more bombs. Why not? Okay. See a damn thing. Oh, look at that. Cool. Amethyst. Yeah, those were helpful, right? Oh, okay. Bombs can get me crimtain ore. Good to know. Now they have a grappling hook, I can stick to walls and stuff, so that's helpful. Placing a bunch of those, because that should be helpful. It's only 8 o'clock. Yeah, I could probably go for another hour if I want to. So this early part of the game can be tedious, but I'm just not really skilled enough or equipped enough to take out any bosses yet. But I would like to go get that red crimtain ore. Not that I can make anything with it yet, because I can't. So that might also be rubies, though. Let's take a look. Yeah, see, tung the tungsten pickaxe is not good enough to collect this yet. But bombs and dynamite can. What do you want? Go away. Go away, I'm trying to dig. 
Another hook. That's helpful. Oh, that's lame. That was just to make sure I got it all, and I did. The paths. That's helpful. Ah! I hate these fucking things. Hate them, hate them, hate them. And they were not in the original game. Sometimes you see trees made of stone. It's really weird. Oh, I'm in a mushroom biome right now. Hey, that's cool. Ah, oh, crap. Yeah, it's really bizarre. I don't... I don't quite get it, but... Trees made of stone. And sapphires. Sapphire gem corn? The fuck is that? Candy place. Oh, I could grow my own sapphire trees. Hey, that's nifty. I could have some fun with that. Mushroom biome now. How cool is that? So these glowing mushrooms are very helpful. I need these to make the uh, better healing potions. And there's a mushroom NPC person you can get if you're able to build a mushroom biome above ground. Which isn't that hard, you just need mud and mushrooms and it's actually not that bad. Alright.
not really that interested in copper anymore. Oh, look at this. All right, so lava will kill you. And if water touches lava, it creates obsidian. Which is very useful, so. Oh no, not Tim. Oh, I hate Tim. Tim sucks. Yeah, get in the lava, you fucker. Oh, I got a wizard hat, ha. Huh? Got your hat, motherfucker. All right, so now we're making it down into hell. We don't want to be in hell yet. Oh, God. All right. Get the fuck out of here before we die. Heal me. Thank you. Cool. I'm going to clip that right now. can't do anything with the Crimtain Ore yet, actually. And Quick Stack will just stack what I already have, which is good. try and create a mushroom biome here. Might as well just fill this in with mud, right? Why not? planted a bunch of mushrooms. Let's see if that does anything. Did I get any... No, see, I, I didn't get any um, grass, though. That's disappointing. Alright. Oh, sorry, Paul. Sorry, not sorry. You, I want to shop. No, I'm just going to sell that. Okay. okay. That's valuable. I want to keep that. I'm just going to put him in here. That's fine.
Oh. I can make a mushroom house if I want. Not yet, though. Alright. Now I'm just making a stone house. Just go over here. Now I can make a bunch more rooms off of this to get more NPCs to show up. If I just hold diagonally, then I walk up automatically. That's neat.
Ah, I caught a bunny. Ah. Ah, stupid bird. Okay, so as you can see, I just built more houses. And one of them has a fireplace because why not? I don't want them all to look exactly the same. Excellent. So. Just built four more houses. Let's see who else moves in. Bunnies are consumable. I can eat the bunny. Okay. Hey, let's go fishing. Why not? going on here. It sounds like boss music, but I don't know what boss it's for. Or maybe it's just because it's a sandstorm. Eventually. Oh, 
I think I need those mandibles for something, so. So I think this music I'm hearing just indicates that there's a sandstorm going on. Grab some glass bottles. Oh, well. I don't have to get rid of the platforms, apparently. Alright. Good to know. how you go fishing. You gotta get bait, which is usually like a bug of some kind. And then once you have that in your inventory, then you just throw the thing. Oh, hello. A kite? What? in this game. The game gets much easier when you get the mirror that lets you jump back to base. Dandelion? What? Alright, no, this is not working for me. 
Stupid wind. All right, I'm gonna have to just teleport back anyways. Here, have some bass. Yeah, have a pipe. Have fun with that. You have nothing I want. biome and this is a path down to hell for when I feel like doing that. Let me see if I can make any progress in this crimson area. The uh, druidess, or druid, or whatever she is, if she shows up. Oh, you have to kill a boss to get her to show up, that's right. But then she gives you stuff that can decontaminate these blocks here. I'm dead. <laughs> Damn it! Okay, see those hearts? You gotta smash those. 
If you smash three, the boss will show up, but I'm gonna try to just smash two of them. And I think the bombs will get the job done here. Yep. In the original game, I mean, I never knew I could use um, bombs for that purpose. to fight this boss yet, though. Now, because I picked up a gun, though, I'm an arms dealer is supposed to show up. Gun. I got a melee weapon. Let's go home now. And I can't see shit. And I'm out of torches. But I have both of those. to fight when you can't fucking see anything.
He does not sell bullets. Okay. Here's what I'm gonna do though. Buy a bunch of shurikens. Well, that could be useful. All right. This is useful, who knows. All right, so I need to get lenses so I can summon at the Eye of Cthulhu. Or I have to look in some chests and see if I can find it in there. get my stuff back. Alright, This can hit multiple times, so... That's good. There we go. Just passing through. Alright, let's go explore the jungle real quick and I'll stop soon. You have to kill the eyes to get the lenses, so you can craft an item that summons the Eye of Cthulhu, which is the first boss. But sometimes if you go into like the jungle or the or an ice biome, you'll find a chest that has an Eye of Cthulhu in it. So, that's fine. I could have also just broken a third thing to get the other boss to show up, but I don't know, he can be a pain in the ass. I want to try to take out the eye first. Hey, listen! I just got an achievement because a bunch of fairies showed up. That's me, I guess. I was going to say, I'm pretty sure I opened that already. 
Yeah, and I opened that one too. Okay. Damn it. Press the wrong button. Oh, the traveling merchant has arrived. Okay. Hello? What's up? Um, no. No. I can't afford any of your stuff. Alright. Gallius. You're too expensive for me. Back into the jungle, I hit the wrong button. Did not mean to teleport back, yep. actual blueberries or are they just berries that happen to be blue oh, okay now the arms dealer shows up well I'll be able to buy more ammo for that gun and that'll be really helpful for the first two bosses I hope and I really hope I find some chests in the jungle with some good items in them Die Trader has arrived. I don't really care about him. Ooh, what is that? 
That's creepy looking. A gloom statue. Okay. Hey, okay, that's pretty cool. This is turning into a sand biome, or I'm just going too far to the left. Oh. has arrived. Okay. Cool. what I'm looking for to the left there. Just have to get to it without getting murdered. Aha! See that over there? I want to get into that room. So I'm thinking if I get above it I can just use my bombs to get down. really stupid. game when you're trying to uh, progress and you decide, okay, I don't really want to do any more mining, I just want to progress on the game and find more stuff, and find the better loot, and this is what happens. But now that I think about it, maybe I can take out that other boss there, let me just see. into the jungle I'm gonna 
obviously try to get into that room where that chest was. But before I stop playing for today, let's just challenge this boss. Because there's no way I can do uh, Cthulhu, or Eye of Cthulhu, anytime soon. Not without finding more of them lenses or finding a chest that just happens to have the thing I need in it. So. Ranged builds are the easiest, at least in the early game. When you can actually summon, you can do a summoning build when you can actually summon stuff later. But the Zoologist has arrived. I'm not familiar with that one. Okay, well, how about that? Alright. All right, there's another heart over here. Crimson Heart, that's helpful. Alright. That was pointless. I fell in a hole and couldn't see what the fuck I was doing and... Okay. And now I have to destroy three more of those to summon him again. Great. So, this is Terraria. It's fun for an hour. And then it's another hour of just... You know, farming for slightly better gear. You know farming for ore to make slightly better gear and I probably should have waited till I had gold or tungsten gear but oh well so there's also an item that you can make or find that will summon that boss but I really don't feel like playing anymore every time I make a new character I, this is the point I get to where I'm like oh yeah this isn't fun Good news is you know how to, uh, you now know how to summon one of the bosses and you have a decent idea of what kind of gear you might need. Oh, and this thing right here though, this is going to be incredibly useful because this generates light, so I don't need to keep putting torches down everywhere. And the thing with the Crimtain Ore that I got already is you have to get, like, flesh, which you only get from fighting that boss. So if I go back down there, um, I can see if anything there. I, I should have planned that out better. I should have covered that hole so I wouldn't fall in it. But I didn't expect three spiders to show up the second I summoned them, so. That's another thing that annoys me about a lot of games, though, is the boss itself would already be difficult if all these extra minions didn't spawn in to help. Like, who designs these boss fights? Like, why, why can't I just fight the boss? By himself.
I had no idea this I was gonna fall in that pit. I didn't know how deep it went. And the only reason I didn't die when I fell is because it's um it has water at the bottom. Alright, traveling merchant is gone, that's fine. Doesn't bother me at all. So you might be thinking, what happens when you... What, what if you can't beat that boss and you run out of those heart things to smash? Well then in that case there's an item you can craft to summon him. So... Or you can just start a new world. I guess. I don't know. Alright. I think I would have had a chance if I didn't immediately get swarmed by spiders and fall in that fucking hole. So, that's okay. Alright. I don't know why I did this here. Hang on. What the fuck just happened? Oh, another mushroom biome. Alright, that could be helpful. There's another heart over there. Alright. But it's just tricky because I'm supposed to fight Eye of Cthulhu first, then the druid shows up, then I can decontaminate these blocks so that my pickaxe can actually destroy them, but, you know, I kind of just did things a little out of order here. Uh, all right, I'm fucking done. Fuck this game. Oh, and if you're ever, like, in a jam and you're about to die, you can quit out of the game. And then when you go back in, you'll just go back to town. So, all right, there you have it. That was the first two hours of a brand new Terraria character and world. Um, so... If you're uh, looking about, thinking about starting the game or you're not sure what to do or let's say you played it for an hour and you got frustrated, well now you just have a better idea of what stuff you need, where to go, what to do. And if you've got more skill than I do, then you can uh, take out those early game bosses, no problem. Um, but as you can see, if you find an explosive, you get the demolitionist, then you can buy bombs and dynamite, which makes it a lot easier to... Um, you know, destroy blocks, but you might get blown up in the process. So, alright, thanks for watching. See ya.